What's up everyone? Welcome back to Ton Time. This is your host Donnie and today we will be unboxing and doing a, a quick review of this uh, Comica CVM WM100 Plus A wireless microphone. So Comica is a great company. Uh, I've bought a couple of their products. I bought the shotgun mic for my um, camera slash iPhone um, set up when I'm out and I also have another a Comica Boom X-D which is uh, a receiver and a wireless mic for just the iPhone and both products is really awesome. This one um, looks like it's a little bit more um, professional I think and the range is a lot better and you can actually have this work on um, camcorder, DSLR camera or for a smartphone which is pretty cool. It has uh, XLR uh, connections as well and looks like it has one one receiver and two transmitters uh, for this kit so let's go ahead and open it up see what's inside the box and then later in the video I will change over to this mic and let you guys hear right now what you're hearing is not this mic I'm actually using another comic Cup product um, uh, for it so this is I guess you could say this is a preview of what Comic Cup mics sound like. On all my videos, I use mainly Comic Cup mics because I'm shooting on my iPhone. So, um, this is a different Comic Cup product you're hearing right now. But when I switch over to this, these guys, I'll put it on the screen and I'll let you guys know. So, let's go ahead and open it up. Um, let me show you guys what the retail boxing looks like. So, let's see. This is the front showing the product and everything that it works with so this is a back with some um, uh, some features here so that's the feature transmitter specs receiver specs so there's a back in a box they also have a website which goes into depth I'll put it in the link below so that's the box, it's got a little carrying handle when you buy it, so let's go ahead and open it up now. I didn't open it up yet, so I figure, you know what, I like I like to open up the boxes uh, during um, live taping so you guys know exactly what is in the box and there's no surprises. So let's go ahead and open it up. There's two tabs here that you pull back, open it up, and it looks like it has a nice little carrying case, which is cool. So this is the case, there's nothing else in the box as you can see. So it comes with a nice uh, durable carrying case, very light. Looks like it's got a zipper in the front, which looks like it holds all your accessories. So there's three accessories here, and another three in this pocket. So I'm going to take everything out. I take it these are all the adapters that you can uh, work with. On either your iPhone, your camcorder, or your DSLR. So that was in the small packet. Let's, where's the zipper for the other one? Let's open up the main packet. Okay, upon opening, you get the user manual here. And here is how the kit is aligned. You got the slits for the antenna. This is the receiver. Two, two transmitter, one receiver. So this guy would sit on your camcorder, um, iPhone, or DSLR. And it has two antennas, as you can see. And the antenna looks flexible as you can see, so you get that. That's the receiver. This is a transmitter. 
and you got another transmitter right here and there's something else here which I'll unbox later uh, so unpack later so that is everything in this kit here in this carrying case it's got like a foam foam case so when you're carrying it around it's well insulated and won't damage the product So let's go ahead and let's look at the receiver. <clears throat> so it's plastic, but it looks durable. Antenna is really flexible, as you can see. So you can straighten out, you don't have to worry. Um, I believe there's a clip so you can clip this onto a belt or your camera or, or hot shoe or cold shoe. You got your two lights here, A, B, I, R, R, F. You got your output here, and then you got your antenna, um, your headphones here for monitoring. And it looks like you can charge this here with a micro USB. Here's the case the cover so it looks like when you open it you just push down and it swings open uh, about 90 degrees so you don't lose the case here so you need to use two AA batteries with the receiver so we have the receiver here let's look at one of the transmitters so it looks like it's probably going to be the same thing. You open it up, case opens, you got your two batteries here. Looks like you can power it up with micro USB here. And I'll see if you could power it up without battery. So I'll try powering this up without batteries first and see. And we'll see if that turns on. So you got your power. You got your set left, right, and your power as well. So those two are the transmitter. And this one you have the same controls too, set, left, right, power. So let me go ahead, you know what? Let's go ahead and open these up to see just what's inside before I go find um, batteries for these guys. So this looks like it's the belt clip. So you could actually um, I'll probably have to read the instruction, but I believe you could clip these on somehow and have them on your belt clip while you're walking around if you're doing any videotaping and walking at the same time. Let's see what is in here. I bet you this is the mic. Okay, so you got the wind mic here. And then looks like you got two of those for the receiver, so um, I won't open this up, but that pretty much the same as that. Or transmitter, I should say. And let's see here. So you have this mic here to hook up onto your transmitter. So you got two of those here. So you got that there. This guy's the same thing. And I believe these are just the accessories. So you got USB A to micro USB to power up one of those guys. Okay, and this one you have uh, um, TRS, it looks like it's two, two ring here to plug from the transmitter to a source. And then this one looks like it's the XLR version of it. That one's three and a half millimeter, I believe, and this one's three and a half millimeter to XLR. So if you have an XLR 
connects into your camcorder you can plug it in here and it will go into your XLR connection here and I believe this guy here is for your receiver so you can mount it on yep it's for the receiver so you can mount it onto your camera or some hot or cold shoe whatever you have I believe you just screw it in yep you just screw it in here and then you just hook this onto your hot shoe or cold shoe on your camera or video camera so it comes with that which is awesome so that's all the accessories it comes with in the kit and this instruction book here so so yeah so you get two of these two of these three clips to uh, clip onto your belts um, cold shoe hookup USB cable and audio inputs so I'm gonna go ahead and cut here and I will grab a some batteries and a USB battery also to see if these could power on without the battery so I'll be back all right everyone I am back and I loaded up the batteries in all the units so as you can see two AA batteries for each unit I need six of them on this kit I already loaded the batteries in these two guys as well so let's go ahead and turn it on oh another thing is um, this if you don't want to use battery and you want to use an external power source, you could use this micro USB and hook it up to a external power source and you're able to feed power to this guy without using AA batteries. So you have two options, external power source with this micro USB connection or battery. So now that the battery's in, let's go ahead and turn it on. So there's your load screen and immediately you see two groups, group A, group B, and the channel is default at zero and you got the lights um, indicating that it's on broadcasting or on to receive group A and B. So there's the two lights there. So let's go ahead and go through the menu. So you got output mode, so if you hold down the setting here, you can change it to stereo if you'd like, so we'll leave it there. You got group A setting, which if you hold it down, you could have two groups that you could um, have the settings for. So right now it's on group A, but you could change the setting to group B. So let's go ahead and play with group A for now. And you see group A setting, power on. Power on meaning that you're having the receiver on with group A. So we could technically hold down the setting button and turn it off and hit setting. And that tells you that you're turning on group A off. Red light up here meaning it's no longer taking signal in from group A, but it still is on group B. So let's just go ahead and turn that back on. Oops, that's the channel. So let's get out of that. So group A setting, so let's turn the power back on there. You can set the volume, we'll leave it at 12. And here is your auto scan. So when you hit this and you hit yes, basically it's scanning for the best channel for group A and it looks like channel 16 is set for group A. So the system knows that channel 16 is the clearest and the best channel to use for that group. So oh, I went back to, so now it's set to channel 16 for group A. This sync option means that Instead of going to each transmitter and putting in the settings that this receiver have, you could, um, it takes about three, four seconds and it hits out. But once you hit the sync button and you hit yes, basically if there's an IR here that shoots out a laser and you just pretty much um, align it with this receiver here, the transmitter here, and it will pretty much pull all the settings that you set in here into the transmitter so that you don't have to manually set each transmitter to the receiver. So that's a pretty cool feature. So let's see what other options there are. Let's see. 
sync and then this is just a backlit how many seconds you want it to turn off and if you want to reset all the memory in here back to the default factory and that's the version that the firmware is on so you see group A and B it tells you the battery level of each of the unit here but right now we're not connected I'll turn those on in a second but let's go ahead so group A as you can see is on channel 16 so let's go ahead and see if this guy could let's do group B now so I'm gonna hold it down and then do group B so now you see group B setting power on we'll leave that on for now group uh, volumes 12 and let's have this receiver scan for the best channel for group B which is channel 45 so so here I already set group A and B settings in this receiver so instead of manually setting it I'm gonna turn on both of these right now so right now as you can see channel 16 and channel 45 for group A and B so let's go ahead and go to we're already in group B so I'm gonna go to the sync button I'm gonna tell it to sync and then I'm gonna hit yes so now it's searching for the transmitter so once you line it up as you can see it automatically matched right away and on this transmitter you see group B channel 45 BAM done so now all the settings that you put in the receiver here is now copied into this transmitter and now is on um, group B so here this is a clean slate one too as you can see it says group A channel 0 we want to match it to channel 16 so I'm gonna go to group change this to group A setting and now it's on group A I'm gonna go to sync hold it down hold the setting set button and then now I want to sync this to this guy and it says matched and as you can see now this transmitter is on channel 16 so it's pretty cool so right now I have group A and B on and it's actually picking up as you can see from the uh, levels here you see so there's so it reads the battery off of A and B the battery um, of the unit those two transmitter the first box that you see is the transmission level so three means highest which is good and then you see the gain here so this is a right so right now it's it's hearing my voice because the mic right now but if I blow into it you see oops let's see so as you can see it looks like it's trying to search for a give it a second but anyways while I was doing that oh, yeah, I found it so B here B here it's picking up it's locked so you hear the gain on A here as you can see hello 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 and you see the gain there so it's reading the gain off of the two uh, systems now so so that's pretty much uh, looks like it lost connection here oh maybe because I have the antennas too close but yeah as you can see it's picking up the gains on both of them so now it's reading off of A and B on there so if, if you want to turn each one off you could go to the group setting and you see where say group A setting power on if you want to turn A off hold down the set button and you could hit off and now it's only picking up B which is that guy B which is this unit here so now it's not picking anything up from A and it's a red light right now so yeah so it's only reading off of B as you can see this is on B right now B B B so so that's how you do it so I'll go ahead and turn on A and as you can see when A is off it's the background is not even on it's uh it's, you can see it's not on the background is not black like on B so I am going to turn group A back on see it says off now I'm going to turn it back on so now it's picking up both 
So it reads off of both A. So I'll put that one on group A and that one on group B. So now you see the gain and the transmission is pretty good. So that's the menu on the receiving end of it. So let's look at the menu on the transmission side. So I'm going to leave this alone for now. And let's look at the menu on the transmitter. So this is the one that's on group B right now. So let's look at the menu. So got the group B setting. So low cut filter, that means if you're in a crowded area, it will try to cut out all the noise and only pick up what's closest to your mic. Uh, you might want to use that if you're in loud areas. Um, RF power is on high. This one is, if you if you see H on there, if if you're far away, you'll want to leave it on high so that it's transmit, transmitting transmitting the sound to the receiver at the highest um, at the highest uh, at the highest uh, how should I say at the highest um, signal. But if you're close to each other, you could always. Um, you could always put the RF power to low and you see it says L, that will save some battery so it doesn't transmit as much power if you're close to each other from the receiver. But right now I'll just leave it as high for now, but if you're if you're pretty far from the receiver you might want to leave it on high. Um, that's how it is. Muting, if you want to mute your unit, you could disable and you see nothing there's a button that you could um, hot mute, enable, disable it, backlit 15 seconds, reset, and firmware. So same thing, you reset it back to factory settings, and that's the firmware number. So that's pretty much everything on the transmitter side. Um, it's pretty easy. You could set, you could set this one to A too if you want. Right now, this is B, and like I said, I set this one to A just for showing you guys. So as you can see, this is on group A right now. And the receiver is now taking both of these in. And right here uh, with the muting, it's enabled because if you hold down the power button, I'm sorry, let me turn that back on. If you hold down that one, it mutes it. And if you, if you uh, press it again, it's unmute. So right now, hit the power button, it mutes. Unhit it again if it's green, it's not muted, but you can turn that off in the menu as I showed earlier. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much the setting. Pretty, really, really easy to use. And this belt clip, um, it actually clips onto a little hole here. So you could, let me put it on for reference. It might be a little bit tough but you put that in that hole and then you put it in this hole here and then BAM belt clip you clip on your belt walk around with it you're good so yeah this is a pretty nice unit um, it's not too heavy made of durable plastic um, so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to um, I'll hook this onto my iPhone because I'm using another uh, Comica um, um, system to record the sound now. So what I'll do is I will hook up one of these guys here to my iPhone so you can see what it sounds like. So I'll be back in another second guys. So I just want to show you the cable that I have. It's actually two cables to work on an iPhone. You'll need the lightning cable to 3.5 millimeter. And you'll need to get this cable too because the iPhone has uh, triple rings for uh, audio, stereo audio, and mic. So you'll need an adapter from three ring to two ring here to make it work. So as you can see, three ring here plugs into this guy here. And then the two ring here is for the Comica unit you would plug this in here like that and then this will pretty much screw into the receiver here on the output and it's pretty cool because it's uh, 
Uh, it's a screw type, so once you plug it in here, you'll screw it down. Screw it down, and it is tight. It won't fly out, as you can see. So they have that on the transmitters as well. So I'm going to hook this up to the iPhone now, so I will be back. Give me a minute, and we shall see what this sounds like on the iPhone. Okay, everyone, so I'm back now, and the receiver is now hooked up to the iPhone right now. So the recording that you're seeing and the sound that you're seeing now is coming from this unit and that transmitter, actually this transmitter here. So it's hooked up to my lapel. So yeah, so I am using this right now and it sounds pretty good, right guys? Um, it sounds great. It shows the channel perfectly. I don't hear any noise or any issues. So I, I turned off that group there, so it's only um, getting sound from group A, but as you can see, it's got three full bars of receiving the signal, and the gain looks pretty good on the receiver, and it's got full battery life. So yeah, guys, and this is the transmitter I'm using as well, so um, I think this is pretty much a home run. I really like this kit. Um, I think it's a little bit more professional um, use than the other kit that I have. I've been using um, this kit here, um, just specifically for the iPhone. Um, love this kit because it's just compact, but I think this one sounds a little bit better. Um, as you can see, I'm a Comica fan. I also have a shotgun mic too. So this one sounds really good, and I like how um, you, can, you can set groups and um, different, um, you can set different groups and the gains and have different settings for each individual. So yeah, really awesome. I really like this. Um, sounds really good. The, the thing is a little bulky, but if you're putting this on your belt, it should be fine. And it, as you can hear, it sounds great and I love it. So this has been my review of this kit, guys. This is the Comica CVM-WM100+. This is the manual that came with it and it's really, it's really a great manual, good, a lot of good visuals. So you should get this up in like five minutes. So there you go, guys. This has been another ton time review. Thank you for spending the time and watching this review. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and click the like button, subscribe, and I'll put the link of this product um, on Amazon. You could get it. I believe it's only about $194. Not bad for a kit with a receiver and two transmitters. And yeah. There you go, guys. Like always, thank you for watching. And peace out and stay safe out there.